it's been a few weeks since the season ended in a maybe a cruel fashion there at Red Bull Arena. You've had some time to breathe, reflect on the season. The coaching changes happen. When you look back, uh, how are your feelings? What are your feelings like uh, looking back on the 2013 season with the fire? You know, there, there's thankfully there's some positives to take from it. You know, I think we uh, we obviously had a rough start and then. Um, um, you know, kind, kind of came together as a team and, and did something special. You know, I think over the last couple months of the season, we uh, either the best record in the league or second best record, which um, obviously wasn't good enough. So we're not we're not fooling ourselves, but there's definitely some positives now. There's still a, it's still going to be a little rough because other teams are still in the playoffs. So it's not it's, the the loss in New York hasn't necessarily. Uh, you know, left left my heart, but it's you know it's it's wearing off, and I think the sooner this uh, you know December seventh and, and somebody you know hoist the trophy, then then I could start moving on and, and, and kind of forget about it. But as long as soccer's still on and I still see the uh, commercials, and uh, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little rough. When you came in, you were looked to almost immediately as a leader. You helped change uh, you know the attitude maybe in the team a little bit in terms of a, more of a winning mentality. Last game of the season, though, it was maybe a disappointing one. You wore the captain's armband. Talk about what that meant to you uh, to to wear that for your your home club. Uh, I mean, that's that's a, an amazing honor. I mean, I can't even uh, I can't sugarcoat that at all. I mean, it's a uh, it's it, it's something you know I'll, I'll never forget and. You know, you kind of look at the past past guys who've worn it, and uh, you know the way Jeff Jeff and, and Logan have represented the team as a captain has has been amazing. And you know, in that game, uh, obviously it didn't go our way, but um, when you get a chance to you know j just um, you know not only play for the Chicago Fire but get a chance to wear the captain's armband, it's uh, it's not something else going to forget. The finalists for MLS MVP have been named yourself, Marco Devayo, and uh, former teammate Robbie Keane. Uh, I know you don't care as much. You'd rather be in the playoffs, still playing. But what would it mean if your name was called for MLS MVP? It's it's uh it's awesome. I mean, uh, you just look at the company, you know. And like I was just speaking about Devayo and um, how great a how great of a player he is, and you know how great of a player he's been for a long time. And then to start talking about Robbie Keane, who I think is uh, uh, you know one of the one of the best players, if not the best player I've ever played with. And it's fair to say I've kind of tried to shape my game a bit a bit after him. And, um, you know, obviously, I've only played forward for one year, and you know, scored a lot of goals. And Robbie's been doing it over over the course of the last decade or so. So, you know, I've tried to take a lot of things out of watching him train and, and, and the way he plays games, and his movement off the ball, and and put it into my game. So now, now when they announced the finals, I think the the finalist, the coolest thing was just kind of seeing my name in, in, in such good company, and that's that's something to be proud of. Finally. Uh Frank Yallop, new era with the Chicago Fire, both head coach and director of soccer. You were one of the four players, part of his one of his introductory press conferences. Uh, obviously, I think he has big plans for you going into 2014. What is your take on, on Frank Yallop and, and how he might be building the team uh, heading into next season? I'm, I'm excited. I'm probably, I'm probably as excited as anyone. Um, you know, I just think he brings, a, he brings a lot of stability and a guy who comes in and Knowing that every decision is, is is going to be his, and the team's going to be shaped his way. And if you look at the past, you know, with with his teams, they've they've always been you know great teams that, that fought hard and um, you know played attack in soccer with high pressure and a guy who everyone says is a player's coach. And so I'm excited about that because now we'll every player will know exactly you know kind of who the boss is.